Hello traders, so today's video is about one minute trading and one more topic we will going to discuss what are whole numbers and how you can find and use them as a support or resistance level. So first take first we will take some trades then we'll move to the second topic so right now i am at usd canadian chart and this is one minute candle for the next 10 minutes we will take trades and then we will move to the next topic so let's start without wasting any time and as you can see this is euro usd chart and it is ranging market so what i will do i will make a box so that we can wait for a breakout this is a particular box we need to wait for a market to break either level either this resistance or this support this is downtrend this is aud usd chart and let's wait for the market to give us a trading opportunity okay this is canadian chf chart I will draw the level first we have here the level okay this is euro AUD chart it is uptrend we have <coughs> sorry we have the area Let's wait for the breakout. And here it is also uptrend. So let's expect, I'm expecting the candle to break this level. This is going to be a good trade as the trend is totally uptrend. We will draw this particular level. Okay. As well. let's wait okay this is a sign that market is getting weaker but we will not trade against the trend so we will wait for a breakout and in this case same story market is moving down we wait we will wait for the breakout and here this is a ranging market let's wait Okay, I will wait for a breakout here. So this is a you, you can see this is a breakout. So we can place a trade in the direction of trend, which is downtrend. Now we will wait for the market to go up. let's wait okay it's going up reversed this is a dozy at a resistance level which I can expect to place my trade I think we have the 5 second confirmation yes we have the 5 second confirmation I place my trade let's wait for the results we are going to have a winning trade here let me take one more trade then we will cover the next topic here we can expect a breakout this trade is going right let me explain you why I place the trade as you can see this is an evidence that the level is now a resistance level the market goes up 
and get a rejection and i place a trade with the rejection the trend is downtrend the market was weak the one minute candle shows the rejection from the resistance level and i place my trade with the first confirmation in the direction of trend and that's a winning trade let's wait here okay in this case you can see this is very minute breakout so i will not take this as a breakout neither i will take this as uh, as a respect of support level so i will wait for a clear breakout this seems uh, a miss so let's wait sometimes you will get false rejection false breakout so you need to stay away from them if you are not confident about it so here okay here we have a breakout you can see the the level has been broken and okay yes the trend is up trend so we can place a trend in the direction of trend let's wait for the market okay it's going to close okay it, it's closed and let's wait Let me check. Okay, oh, everything seems correct here. We have a good level. Let's wait for this particular candle to close. Okay, it reversed completely. Here we need to increase our level. And here I'm expecting a breakout. And here as well. okay here this is a good trading position let's wait okay this seems like a breakout of this level we will choose different okay this is again a level of support intermediate support which we can use let's wait for the next candle for this candle to close we will take one trade and then we will discuss the whole numbers concept okay let's okay here we have a breakout which i was expecting same story here here okay let's wait here it will take some time and here okay this is an extreme level and this seems a breakout and I will place my trade in the direction of trend. Okay, yes. I got the confirmation. It was a breakout. Yes, it was a breakout. And let me see the confirmation. Yes, we have the confirmation. So we placed our trade in the direction of trend. The trend was uptrend. The breakout, this was the breakout candlestick. We got the confirmation as well. So 
so we have done everything correct let's wait for the result next 12 second will give us the result six second five right now it's good three two one and okay so we won this trade let me explain the trade this candle broke the extreme level which was strong it this candle is a breakout it means the level will uh, the market will continue to go in the upward direction i waited for the market to go down it hit the support level it gives us the rejection we have placed our trade with the rejection in the direction of trend and that's why we won the trade the last candle was also a sign that market wants to go up so the candlestick analysis supporting that market wants to go up the extreme support is also suggesting market wants to go up we have the rejection as well and we are trading with the trend so we won the trade and one more important thing that this uh, the level is also a whole number let me ex let me show you why if you look carefully here this is a level of 1.592 to 500 which is also a whole number and this candle broke this level previously it was extreme level that's why i placed the trade so we have taken two trades and both are in the winning side now let's discuss about the whole number so first thing what you have to do about the whole number is that you have to notice the number which ends with the zero in the end i'm not talking about one zero it needs to have at least two zeros in the end like it can be 1.592000 it has three zeros and it can be like 1.592300 at least it should have two zeros in the end it makes the number whole because why this number is important because uh, uh, these uh, when they, these levels are very ne uh, are near to the support or resistance the traders who are trading will select this number to place their trade if you have a chance to place your trade then you will place your trade like at uh, 1.592000 instead of placing your trade like at any random number which is not a whole number it suits people when they trade or they when they place their trade at a whole number suppose if you are in a grocery store and you are going to buy some product and the uh, the uh, the shopkeeper uh, says that it it costs uh, it costs you 11 dollar and 23 cents it sounds weird so if it is like 11 dollar you will buy it but it if it, it suits the man when it comes to whole number so whole number are important because uh, it can, it is psychologically important actually for trading purpose traders will suit uh, will use these level to place their trade instead of using any random number like in this case 1.592703 they will prefer 1.79 or 1.92700 which have zero in the end this is the psychology and it is not written anywhere it is what i learned from the trading it is what i found important when i practice i used to keep myself concentrated on every point and this whole number seems very important to me so if you have any suppose if you suppose this is a level of resistance okay this is a resistance level so instead of using this level if you look carefully here there is a whole number of 1.593000 so instead of placing a level here you can place your level here and this level will give you an ultimate ultimate result because this is where the trader will place their trade these level works very well when it comes to support or resistance and i can bet that these level work very well in this case you can see the market reverse from the whole very whole number let me show you in the five second to make it more clear look carefully if this is the level of 1.59300 okay market enter this level it reverses you can see this red candle reverses it again goes up it again reverses it it again goes up here it again reverses. it shows the power of this particular whole number so when you find numbers which ends with zero in the end at least have two zeros you can uh, treat them as support or resistance but one condition there must be a support or resistance near to them now you cannot place uh, your trade with every whole number 
it needs to have a support or resistance level near to it like in this case there was a resistance in this case and this was the nearest whole number it was very near so you can treat this as a resistance as well i'm not uh, saying you that this is a resistance level and you find that some uh, there is a resistance as also or a whole number you can find you find that there is a whole number and you switch your chart from this level to this level treating this as a resistance it will be completely different story so you need to make sure that the whole number must be near to the resistance level it is very important when it is near to the resistance level and they work very well you can uh, you can see here as well you can see the market crossed this level it was 1.592500 it broke this level this was the breakout the market goes down it break it, it tried to break this level but it closes above this whole number we have taken trade in this particular trade and we won the trade and you can see after this the market goes up so whole number are very important when they are near to the support or resistance level and you can understand the whole number by looking for the last two digit of this particular thing if it, it has two zeros in the end it will work good if it has three zeros the the strength will increase more if it has four zero then the strand will increase with the increasing number of zeros so it is important that it should have zeros in the end okay so this is how you can select the support or resistance with whole number and so that that's all i can say uh, so i will finish this video here and will make more videos in the coming time with more important topic, uh, topics that are needed to be discussed thoroughly so I think I will finish this video here and will make more videos in the coming time. Till then, keep trading, keep working hard and stay calm, relaxed and confident while trading. Good day.